first and foremost, giving our praises and our glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders that do rule well at Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the Akiya Mode, pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth, Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Yeah, this lesson will be entitled Opened to Their Prayers. Right, and you know how again to the book of First John chapter 5 verse 14. It says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. You understand? The Lord is open to our prayers, right? Not, not to our, but to the, 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 the sincere brothers, you know, the elect, whoever the elect may be, right? Lord willing, we are, we are of the elect. The Lord is open to our prayers. Right? So hey, wherever you ask in the Lord, He would give you it. If you ask it in faith and all confidence, the Lord will give you it. And the way the Lord works, you know, even if you ask the Lord, let me say, for example, you ask the Lord for a certain job, and the Lord doesn't give you that job, the Lord knows that you want the job because you want a better financial situation so even if the lord will give you that job the might the lord might come and give you an even better paying job than what you asked for knowing good and well because the lord knows the hearts of men the lord know you don't want to go to this specific job because you love the work you know you don't love the work but you you want to be better yourself you know for your family sake or body cases and the lord will give that unto you would I be with the job you ask for or even greater job? You understand? And that's how the Lord does work. The Lord will answer our prayers. Eh? When you ask the Lord, you know, because that, 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 that was a, a, a worldly example. But when you ask the Lord for, for things of the Spirit, for wisdom, for faith, for meekness, you understand, for diligence and these things, for strength, to be able to stand and do the will of the Father and all these things, eh? the Lord will bless you with this. If you continue to pray without ceasing, and you really want it, the Lord will bless you with that spirit and give you that spirit of diligence. Right? When Yahushai was weak in his spirit and he was afraid of death and he was asking the Lord to remove that cup from him, eh? Yahushai, the Mosa Yahweh strengthened his son in that moment. That's why Yahushai was able to get up and, and, and walk that, that path that only he could walk and, and did what he did, was beaten brutally and then sacrificed right and crucified eh, the lord the reason he had that strength was because yahweh gave it to him when he asked of it you understand so eh, the same way the lord you know give yahweh shai that strength he would give us the elect lord will we have the elect he would give us that strength to keep going to keep pushing forward because you can't be weak in this kingdom Weakness will only lead to your death. So the Lord the Lord knows that. The Lord knows you go through a temptation, you go through trials and tribulations, and the Lord will bless us with that strength. Right? We have to continue to pray to our Bashem Yahushai always. And it also says that the doers of the law, not just the hearers of the law, but the doers of the law will be justified. So those that listen and those that do, right? Those that live sincerely in this light. They are the ones that the Lord will hear. The Lord didn't want to hear no hypocrite. He want to hear nobody that, you know, going out there and preaching one thing and behind closed doors doing the wrong thing and then praying, ask, asking him for anything. The Lord didn't want to hear you. The Lord only hears those that be of a contrite and sincere spirit. The Psalms 145, verse 18, it says, The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth you understand they say he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him he also will hear their cry and will save them the lord preserveth all them that love him but all the wicked will he destroy right so the lord is near you know, to, to those that call upon him in prayer out on the highways in videos and in, in life call upon yahweh bashem yahweh shai 
I say he will fulfill the desire, the wants, the lusts of them that fear him. The things that we, we want, the Lord will need, which firstly is salvation, firstly is mercy and forgiveness. That's the thing that we need the most, forgiveness and mercy and salvation and to be delivered from these bodies, to be delivered from our enemies, to be delivered from these curses, this hell, this hard bondage when we were made to serve. That is what we need firstly. You understand? He will, des- he will fulfill those desires of who of them of them that fear him. The fear of the Lord is what the beginning of wisdom. Right? So those that truly fear the Lord will be obedient and faithful to the Heavenly Father. Do you understand? Those are the men and women that he hears. Those are the ones that when they cry to him, whether it be literally or they're crying in their prayers, you know, they cry to the Lord. He will save them, not the backbiters, not the hypocrites, not the liars, but those that believe. They say he preserve it all them that love him, right? He will preserve those that love him. And what if he love me? Keep my commandments. So he preserve the ones that do. That they really do and, and make their bodies a living sacrifice and, and you know, do the works in all faith. He preserve them. But the wicked, those that are opposite to those things, those that don't have them characteristics, he will destroy. The first Peter chapter 3. And verse 12, it says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are, are, are open unto their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if he be followers of that which is good? You understand? For the, so it says, What the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, his ears are open unto their prayers. You know, somebody scripture also say what well, there is none righteous. So how is it that the Lord, the Lord's eyes are open over the righteous if there is none righteous? Because they're talking about the elect. They're talking about the ones that were preordained. You understand? Predetermined. Predestinated to receive of this truth. Right? The scripture said they will be found, they will be blameless before the Lamb in love. Because they were already predestinated to be conformed to the image of the only begotten Son. You understand? So they are the righteous. They are the ones that will be righteous in the end. You understand? They are the ones that will strive for the truth unto death. They are the ones that will stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. So the Lord he will be open, his ears will be open unto their prayers. But not the not these not the two thirds of our people. And not, not much less these other nations and Esau. You understand? The only prayers that the Lord hearing and answering in righteousness and in truth is the elect. Mark chapter 11 verse 24 Therefore I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them and when ye stand praying forgive if ye have any ought against any that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you for your trespasses You understand? So it's a whatsoever things ye desire when you when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So that way you have, have faith in the Lord. You can't just be praying just so. You have faith in Yahweh Hashem and believe that He is. And that He has the power to answer your prayers. And the things that you pray for, you will have. So whatever you ask the Lord for, eh, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will give it unto you. So long as eh, if you know... Right, eh? Once you're doing what you are to do, you do it in wisdom, you believe in the Mosai, you do anything, you bring bringing forth that fruit made for repentance, 
if the Lord shine and mercy upon you, he will answer your prayers. Alright, and I'll close off with this one here in Second Chronicles 7.14. It says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Right? And hey, today is the day of atonement. Right? The way we shall afflict our souls. You understand? So the Lord hey, could, could forgive us of our sins. But what we need to understand is that true atonement has already been made. Which was what? The death of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? Because by Yahweh Shai dying, he overcame death, he overcame sin, he overcame hell, and whoever believe it on him will receive of those glorious things, will receive of salvation, will receive of redemption, right? Deliverance and freedom from the curses of the law. Because we are under the law. Understand? And we cursed, we was cursed when we were under the law. Because of our imperfections, we weren't able to do the law perfectly so it only brought forth death so the law to us can can bring forth life but in Yahweh Shai now you understand in Yahweh Shai is life why in Yahweh Shai is life because in Yahweh Shai is forgiveness of sins and what is what is sins transgression of the law and the wages of sin is death so so by keeping the law it brought us death but by believing in Yahweh Shai it brought us life free from sin but it also says how oh, are we that are dead to sin live any longer therein you understand and not to sin willfully so and you know because faith abong faith abong you know shall, shall we disannul the law no we establish the law so we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts because we believe in our shy he said think not that i am come to destroy the law of the prophets i am not come to destroy but to fulfill fulfill the things that were spoken of spoken of in the old testament you know of him not to destroy anything that was said so we have to keep the laws he say um, if any break one of these least commandments you shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven right so we uphold the law statutes and commandments that is why we keep the day of atonement we fast and afflict our souls but we understand that hey, even though we keep this day yahweh shai is the true atonement no animal sacrifice could match his sacrifice. He's a lamb without blemish. He's the only begotten son of the heavenly father. The highest being that could have been crucified. The first fruit. You understand? That is Yahweh Shai. You know? So he, as you're on this day, you know, you pray and you fast and you ask Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Because that is the sacrifice you're bringing huh? Right, when you read in the law, you say, well, for this sin, you bring this, this sacrifice, and, you know, if you sin ignorantly, you bring a ram without blemish and all these things. That is Yahweh Shai, right? That is Yahweh Shai, and as, 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 as it, as it reveals itself, the scriptures say the law was our schoolmaster, which brought us to Yahweh Shai. You see the way the law was set up? And like the day of atonement and all these things and the, the holy days and all these things, the way the entirety of the law was set up as a schoolmaster to prepare us for Yahweh Shine. Because what the Lord did, it placed us, what the Lord taught us was our imperfection. The Lord taught us why we are nothing. That's all the Lord taught us. That's what keeping the Lord did. It showed us that we are nobodies. That we are far from perfection and when it subjects us unto death now what the lord do what he always does creates a way for us to come out and that way was what yahweh shai and he showed us why we need yahweh shai because if it was up to us we will be nothing you understand so it say here yeah, what if my people which are called by my name if they would humble themselves and pray and seek my face right seek this truth and to repent turn away from their wicked ways right 
then will I hear from heaven. So if you believe in Yahweh Hashem Yosha, you keep the law, such and commandments, you repent, turn away from your wickedness, right? And you see, as I say, it had no more animal sacrifice, so you don't have to bring no sacrifice to the priest because you already have a sacrifice which is, which is Yahweh Shai. That is what you're bringing. You understand? Then the Lord will hear you from heaven and he will forgive your sins. And you know these Christians, they read John 3.16, the Lord so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Who that, so whosoever believes on him shouldn't perish but have everlasting life. What was causing them to perish? Sin. Sin was causing them to perish. But in Yahweh Shai is life. You understand? So no other sacrifice could have did that. Because there was sacrifice. You understand? They sacrificed this animal. Two days later they're doing the same thing. But it's not so with Yahweh Shai. Because through Yahweh Shai sacrifice. Who you would not receive is that heart of flesh. That immortal body. You would never sin again. You understand? So you know with that, all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakudash, Shalom.